Are you? Don't be afraid. Why, hello. I was instructed to carry out story time protocols, but you are the first sign of life I've seen in quite some time. If you would be so kind as to let me tell you a story, it would bring me no greater pleasure. You will stay and listen, no? Ah, is that who I think it is? No? Who is it then? Okay, are we ready? Once upon a time, there was a little girl named Gretel and her brother Ansel. One day, the two children decided to go for a walk in the forest. They did not tell anyone of their journey, so they left a trail of breadcrumbs so they could find their way home in case they got lost. Unfortunately, a bird had been following them and eating all the breadcrumbs, so Ansel and Gretel became lost in the deep, dark forest. They saw smoke rising from the trees and smelled a pleasant, sweet scent, so they decided to follow it in hopes of finding someone who could help. Ansel and Gretel followed it until they came across a house made of gingerbread and candy. The children were tired and hungry, so they began to eat pieces of the house. A wicked old witch came out of the house and caught the two naughty children. She threw Ansel in a cage and made Gretel do chores for her because she did not have a General Atomics International robot to do them for her. Each day, the witch fed Ansel to try and fatten him up. She made him stick his finger out of the cage so she could feel how fat he was becoming. But Ansel had found a small bone in his cage. Each day, Ansel would let the witch feel that bone instead of his finger, so it seemed like he was not fattening up at all. This made the witch mad. The witch asked Gretel to prepare the oven. Gretel was smart and knew what that meant. So she played dumb and told the witch she didn't know how. The witch was ravenous and she became angry. Fine, I'll do it myself, she said. If she had a Mr. Andy or Miss Nanny of her own, she would not need to do it herself. But this is lucky for the children, no? When the witch bent over to check the oven, Gretel charged, pushed the witch inside, locked the oven door, and cooked her until she was ash. The children's parents found them at this time and took them home. Everyone lived happily ever after. Except the witch, of course. She was dead. <laughs>